flattening out. The more my feet push that way and my hands push this way, the more flat he gets. Okay? Eric just took him down. Bam! Eric's going to fight his heart. He's on his knees. He's on a good base. This guy knows how to fight by getting up to a base. He knows what he's doing. All right? Notice Derek has not really lost control of his hands. It's really important. So now when he comes in here, he comes to the near side. When he does this, he quickly jams that knee in there, or that foot in there. He wants to get quick control on the near leg. So start your near leg ride, basically, with your, your hooks in. And Okay, so when he comes in, watch this boom. See how he gets that first hook in there? Then you don't have to make a big, wide, looping move like we talked about before, like getting on a horse, riding a horse or something. Yeah, you don't want to do that, okay? Because he'll get away or he'll grab you or do something to you. So he's, he's turned him over, he's got him down. Hook, I'm sorry. Hook, hook, and hook. Now, what's He's there, you notice that he can hook about, and when he flattens them out, just like some of you guys were doing him. See how his feet, if you want him feet, you want his feet riding up high. You want him flatter a pancake with all the weight in his chest. Then you can reach in there and catch the choke. Having trouble just figuring out where to get your hands. Try to aim to get one hand right there behind the collar and one on the belt. You might not get it, but you'll get somewhere in that region. And then eventually you get to the point where it's just flat hands. But if you try and get a grip first, that might help. Okay, second thing, when you're coming around, put that foot in deeper. Don't stick your feet right here, okay, like you're totally really are trying to ride a horse. This is requiring me to be stable on my feet with my knees out. He starts moving around, and now I'm having to use my hands to stabilize myself, and before I know it, he's out. Your hooks poke in through his legs. That also helps you flatten him out. The more my feet push that way and my hands push this way, the more flat he gets. Okay? So I'm not actually folding him forward over my feet, I'm pushing my feet out backwards and my hands up forwards. That's how you make it more efficient. That's how you force him to carry you. You're sitting on his belt line and hooking your feet through the center of his hips. It's a great point. You're forcing him to carry your weight and then you're flattening him out. And it's the worst place in the world to really flat on your face with a guy on top of you wanting to choke you off or something. That's a bad place to be. Great, great point. Yeah.